welcome back to authentically real with your girl namatam sangmampun dc aka loves and as you guys saw in the title today we'll be giving you a nice descriptive schedule of how i balance school and work prior to lockdown and during lockdown and i will be giving you advice with regards to what to look out for what to check what to ask and how to sort of manage it also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share my video if you know this content is for you, or if you know this content is could be for someone else. Okay, let's get into it. So, just to give you guys an overview, I currently work full-time, so I work a steady 9 to 5, and I study full-time at the Orange University, okay, before quarantine, before lockdown. So with regards to the company, um, I had done my research. I knew the company was based, um, I would say, 15 minutes away from my campus. It's not hard to get there. It could work. Um, so I, I got the job. So the academic year started. Um, with regards to my course, you can either have classes during the day and or you can have classes during the night. So I knew that I could actually balance the two. I knew I didn't have to go to UNISA to do distance learning. I knew that, okay, my course offered night classes, so I would be able to work during the day and I would be able to come back and still attend classes and then still study. So going into the year, I knew, I knew what was what. So I'm going to tell you guys my schedule and I know it's going to sound bizarre. Like I know some of you guys are going to be like, uh, uh, girl, like we ain't about that life. It's not worth it. But for me, it was you know when you're in such a routine and you're so motivated that nothing can deter you it was one of those things for me i was just so motivated i had a goal that i wanted to reach and that goal included getting extra money in my full-time job and you know academically doing well so what i would do is i would wake up every single day at half past four leave my res my accommodation at half past five and then i'd get to work at about like seven it took me about an hour and 30 minutes basically to get to work and to get back to work using that mode of transport like i said i use the rear via and the how train and the how bus three modes of transport uh if i must be honest i could have used different modes of transport i could have used i'm sure there was a metro bus i think i was just doing what was comfortable with me and i also had a friend who was using the same mode of transport you'd use Ria via and Khao train and her office was right next to the Khao train. But I think for me, I felt comfortable knowing that I had someone in like going with me, if that made sense. So for that reason, I decided to use three modes of transport instead of just using a bus or using a bus, two buses. Not the smartest, but yeah, I would get to the office at about seven and I would leave the office at four. Or if I got to the office at uh, half past six, I knew I could leave at like half past three or at three o'clock. So then I'd get back to, if I left at like half past three, I'd get back to campus at about five. Five or like 16, 14, round about there, um, which was about an hour. So it was like an hour. I was, in the morning, I was losing an hour and 30 minutes. In the afternoon, I was I don't I want to say losing I was losing about an hour just through commuting in transport but it is what it is it happened that way then from five my classes started at six from five until six I would use it as my relaxation and from there I'd head to class from six until half past eight then from nine I would nine until eleven two hours every single day except for Friday I would study my work by the time like my first test ones came, my first test came, I had actually improved by leaps in terms of every single subject that I was doing. I was doing four modules, four subjects. I don't know what we call in different universities. I was doing four of them. Very difficult, very hard. And I had actually increased by leaps. For one module, I think I increased by, increased by I think 20% from the previous year. But I had increased. So my routine was working for me. Nah. It was working, like I said, it does sound crazy, but it really, really worked for me. During my lunch breaks, I would actually, at work, I would actually sometimes, if it was like closer to test week, I would go through my notes. 
But if it wasn't for Sister Test Week, I would actually use my lunch break as a lunch break and go sit with my colleagues and actually go like de stress. But that was my schedule before um, lockdown happened. And then in March, I had gotten a car. So then my commuting time went from an hour 30 minutes to a straight 20 minutes each 20 20 and i think i one thing i would always do is i would go to work um before peak peak hour before traffic started so i knew i would get there exactly in 20 minutes or 15 minutes and i would leave work before traffic started again so that would take exactly 20 minutes so it actually ended up saving me quite a lot of time and that was the purpose of me getting a car so that it could save me a whole lot of time okay and then i would use my weekends as catching up i would use it as catch up as practicing like guys i was so diligent with my time i like you couldn't even i literally stuck to my time if i had to study during the weekend i studied if i after coming back from work if i need even if I was tired after class, I knew, I was like, you have two hours that you need to put in and you can't get those two hours tomorrow or the next day. You have to use it today. Then my routine after, or let me say, yeah, after lockdown, uh, I've been allowed to work uh, at home. So in terms of my routine, I'm not going to, it's not as strict as how it was. Uh, before lockdown because it's like I'm at home I'm not losing transport commuting time like you know I'm actually at home so that's been a lot easier in terms of time I'm just going to give you guys a bit of tips on what to look out for like if you're going to decide on working full-time and doing school full-time number one make sure when you go for an interview or before you you know start to work there ask them about study leave guys ask them about study leave how many days do they give you in terms of study leave um if those days aren't enough can you go into your leave how does the leave system work in terms of that um because your know, guys the last thing you want is a situation where your work doesn't even give you study leave and now you're cutting into your annual annual leave or you even realize you haven't even accumulated enough annual leave to take leave and now you're taking leave and not actually getting paid for the days where you're not at work. So inquire about those things. If you're going to ask them guys and make sure the days are also enough. You don't want to be with an employer who gives you only five days of study leave. And then you're struggling throughout the year. You're cutting into your annual leave, which is okay. If you want to cut in your annual leave, that is perfectly okay. But I'm just saying be aware of such things. Number two, before you get employed by that employer, Ask your manager or whoever you are going to, whoever you're going to be responding to, talking to, whoever's in charge of you. Ask them, tell them that you're studying so that they also understand that, okay, there's a possibility that today you could be like, you need an extra day to study or whatever. And they understand, just, just that form of communication. Not that they like that. I'm not going to, my manager wasn't necessarily like, yeah, go, go study. But it was just, he knew, okay, she's studying, so she will be always applying for study leave. She will be needing this, she'll be needing that, so that they're also not, you know, shocked or out of loop. And it's always nice to have a manager that understands that you're studying because they understand what you're going through in terms of balancing the two. Number three, try to look for a job that is flexible. When I say flexible, I'm talking about work hours. Oh my word, the best thing ever, guys. When I got to the work, my workplace, we had flexible hours. So some people would get to work at like, get to the office at six and leave at like half past two. Okay, two o'clock, half past two, you're out and you're using the rest of the afternoon to study. So get, I couldn't really do it at first because I was constrained with public transport. So I couldn't just leave at four and think I was going to find something unless I used an Uber and Ubers are expensive. So find a, a work office where your hours are flexible, where you know you can come in Maybe if your class is in the morning, you can come in from 10 o'clock. Some people used to come in from 10 or 11 o'clock and then leave at night. And it worked for them, guys. Point number four, do not steal work hours. Do not steal school hours for work. So if you know you work from 9 to 5, don't steal your work hours to quickly study or to quickly... Don't steal two hours. To, your work time must be your work time. Your school time must be your school time, okay? 
Point number five, do not take work home. If you are studying, don't even, if your employer asks you, oh, please, can you do this at home? I'll pay you overtime. Be able to say no, guys, because school is a full-time job on its own. Be Like, have that, that thing to say, okay, no, I can't because I have school. Don't let the two intertwine. This is my favorite one. Schedule your time. Schedule, schedule, and plan. Guys, usually at the beginning of the year, if you are in a tertiary institution, they give you a plan, like a plan for when your test will be. Take that plan and apply for leave on those days already. Look at what you're going to be writing. Like, for example, if you have covered three, uh, 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 three subjects before the, the test one, make sure that, okay, cool, you know that your test one is in on the 24th of August. Make sure, like your course is on the 24th of August make sure that okay you have covered all of those way before the 24th of August so that you're also using maybe two weeks prior to consult to do tests plan schedule your time schedule your time you have to and also guys a routine is very important like your routine is so important and sticking to your routine and to your schedule it is important it will help you I promise you you cannot afford to say I'm not going to study today. Put those two hours to the next day. You don't have the next day. I used to say to myself, ah, ah, babes, you don't have two hours tomorrow. You don't have an extra two hours tomorrow. If you don't do it today, you've lost it today. So do that. I also want to say, give yourself a break. I know I'm my, like, as I'm speaking, my schedule sounds so like hectic, but give yourself a break. You don't want to suffer from overburn. You don't want to suffer from overburn or from being too tired. Like, give yourself a break, guys. It is tiring. Pamper yourself one in, once in a while. Get you something that you like once in a while. It is tiring. You deserve it. If you're putting in work academically and you're putting in work at school, like, props to you. You deserve it. Give yourself a break. If, they, if you don't have tests in the coming two weeks or three weeks, uh, if you don't have tests in the coming week, take one week and off and say, cut it off for school. Or even I used to do this thing where I would give myself one day in the week. So I'd give myself Friday night. Friday night, I wouldn't touch a book. Like, just give yourself a break. Anyway, guys, that's the end of my video. I pray that this has helped you. Like I said, school is a full-time job as is. But it is possible to work a full-time job and study full-time. Um, it really is possible. I just feel like if you really, really are diligent and sticking to your routine, you will excel i was gonna say so many people do it so don't feel scared i know a lot of people feel scared but don't feel scared it is possible to do it and also guys i just want to say to you that it's okay to say no with regards to your time don't forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe if this is content that you enjoy if this is content that you like please share it with someone that will like this type of content yeah guys uh don't forget to be authentically real bye